I am sharing with you an invitation to join our free math solutions WhatsApp group. Please join us and make the difference. Thank you. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the free math solutions WhatsApp group. In this video, we are going to solve a question posted by one of our students. But the main idea of this video is to extend an invitation to you. We are inviting 10 students to our group who want to learn mathematics, post questions and get absolutely free guidance along with solutions of their questions. Let me also thank Mr. Narod from France who is really helping us to provide the best solutions to the students. To give you an example, uh, I'll just share with you some clips from our WhatsApp group. So that is how the students post some questions and then almost uh, same time, same day I should say, they are provided with the solutions also. Our group is international from all the continents. We have professionals participating and students participating. The, the extent of questions is normally limited to grade 12, but university level questions are also being answered uh, in this WhatsApp group. All is being done absolutely free of cost. So it's our passion to share with you the knowledge and once you get help, you also feel like providing help, right? So that's the culture which we are providing. Here you see one of our participant, a student himself, is now actively answering the questions. That's the whole objective, to have a vibrant group, group of students and professionals who can come together and help understand basic concepts of mathematics right so that's what it is so as you can see there are a lot of postings every day and a very active participation from all the members if you want to participate at this level right and dedicate a few hours then you can send an email to uh, global math institute gmail.com with your name place city and country i mean and your interest in mathematics will send you an invitation thereafter if you meet our requirements now let me take a question which was posted recently on our channel the solution of this question was also provided by mr narad in our group well, let's see the question first, which says, complete the letter sequence starting with K, N, H, P, T, L, I, N, and what comes next? Well, when we talk about alphabetical patterns, it's a good idea to rewrite all the alphabets, 26 of them, and associate numbers with them, right? So, so if you begin with A, B, C, D, for example, Then you can number them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? And of course, X, Y, Z will take up 26, 25, 24. Correct. So like this, you associate numbers with them. Now, when you talk about these, then you have to see K is what? N is what? which number is associated to this alphabet perfect so this analysis and the solution was provided by mr nara which i'm going to share with you right away right so once you associate these numbers the series which we are looking for was k n h p t l so on so the number with k is 11 with n it is 14 with a 
it is 8 and then it is 16 20 12 correct so like this the numbers move on perfect so when you try to rearrange them as mr narath has done right here right so then what you notice is that if we arrange as k and h p t l i n and that number which we need to figure out in that case what do you find so let me write slightly bigger here so we are just re replacing these alphabets with their values right to figure out what should be the next number right this ninth number so you can see that k is the 11th alphabet n is 14th and h is 8 then we have p as 16 t as 20 and l as 12 so what do you notice here so we notice that moving from 11 to 14 you are adding 3 and moving from 11 to 8 you are subtracting 3 now the same pattern you can see here also but this time you are adding 4 right 16 plus 4 and then you are subtracting 4 from 16 to get 12 so that becomes the pattern for you now keeping this in mind you see i is the ninth alphabet in the sequence and therefore what are you going to do well this time you're going to add five to get this one and subtract five to get what is really required you get the idea so when you do so in that case adding five gives you 14 and subtracting 5 from 9 gives you 4. And as you can see, in the order A, B, C, D, right, right there, D is the fourth place, right? D is at the fourth place. And therefore, the next number should be D. Does it make sense? Right. So, so that is the answer for this particular question. So, you see, when a question is posted, I may not have so much of time to answer all the questions. We normally get hundreds of questions. So that question I also pose in our free math solutions, where we have group of passionate people, right? They are students, they are professionals, and they provide you with solutions. If you want to join this group, send an email to globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. You can mention your present interest in mathematics and the reason for joining the group. We'll send you an invitation and thereafter you will be part of this vibrant group. Perfect. So that's how it works. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to contact us and if you like and subscribe to our playlist. It'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.